Okay guys, so you've done with the five exercises. Now you're gonna move on to a PowerPoint. If you open the PowerPoint, you'll see there are 10 pictures to draw from. Uh, so Monday you can do five. Uh, the idea is to practice, meaning you don't wanna do only one drawing of each. You wanna practice until you get the best drawing. And then you wanna take a picture of the best drawing and upload that when I will ask you to do that, which would be at the end of the week. Uh, so altogether 10, you have two cars because uh, some people are left brain and some other people are right brain. So which one, depending on which one you are in terms of brain and coordination, you'll pick one of the two cars, okay? You don't have to do both. You do one of them. But all together, you'll have about 10 drawings to do. Five on Monday, five on Wednesday. At the end of Wednesday, you will upload them onto Canvas. You know, I'll put a special tab for that, most likely called a practice drawing or something like this, all right? So... We want to practice, practice ghosting and we want to practice uh, breaking down into simple shapes. So for instance, a bottle, uh, I'm going to draw one bottle. It doesn't matter which one. I mean, we have one. So I'm going to start with creating a cylinder. Okay, then I want to create a center line. Then I'm going to have kind of a sphere on top. Okay, and then on top here, I would have a smaller cylinder okay so now i've got kind of the blueprint or the bones of the drawing and what i want to do at this point is just go over and then i can modify that a little bit if i want to fit whatever i'm looking at i'm doing like a wine bottle since i'm french why not uh, and i'm gonna do something like that okay that would be my outline. Now, if I don't do this, if I start by not building my drawing, no center line, no simple shapes, what will happen is that most likely I would do, I would start on one side and then I would do something like this and then I would go on the other side and I might do something like this. And of course, it's not going to be symmetrical. These are mechanical shapes. They're usually symmetrical. And then we have also organic shapes uh, that are not necessarily symmetrical, but you also want to use a center line. Uh, you have an example, uh, I think you have pairs to draw from your PowerPoint. So a pair is a simple foot. You can build it with ghosting a sphere, center line, and then put a cone on top, okay? So I would have then, I can go over it and I can modify that. I can change it. Let's say my pair is a little, is asymmetrical but at least I have the bones to build upon it. And then I know I can add this or whatever. You have another one in this direction, but that gives you an idea. Uh, what else going on? Uh, a bird or a duck, uh, you, you can start with an oval, a smaller oval, uh, connecting here, okay? And then you're gonna have a beak here. You can have an eye here, depending on the duck you're gonna do and then you have a wing right there and then you have the tail and of course they're on water things like that that helps you build a bird uh, then the car uh, the car you can there are different ways to do that uh, you can start with a simple block uh, like we did in perspective okay and then you can cut it here okay and go across create your center line okay and I'm gonna do something like this. Then if I go here, I'm gonna have something like this, depending on what car you're doing, you know. Then I'm gonna cut back here. And, okay. Then I'm gonna have wheels here. I'm gonna create my thickness. The other wheel would be right here. Then I'm gonna have another wheel here. And then, you know, then you can add all the details, you know, obviously you can, you know, create, you know, whatever car you want. But what you want to create first is the simple shape that's going to help you to create that car. Okay. So creating perspective, this would be, you know, darker in the shade. This, I can do something like this, if I, some kind of a jeep, if I want, like a, uh, some kind of material vehicle um, and that would help you build a car of course i'm drawing quickly because I'm, i have time limits but that's the idea you're starting with simple shapes and then you build from there uh, what else do you have 
um, if you do a plane, remember it's an axe, okay? So you have something like this, okay? I'm not looking at anything, so I'm kind of winging it. And then you have, you know, a wing on top, so showing the perspective here, and then a wing in the bottom that goes underneath, same perspective, same center line, and then you can connect them and things like that, okay? So practice, uh, the simple shape, sorry, it's shaking. Uh, the simple shape by, you know, thinking about, again, this one is like having a block of clay and you try to cut from the block of clay to create the details. These are just using like simple shapes to create the drawing you're looking for. So practice that over and over again, select the best drawing and when prompted to do so, upload them on Wednesday on Canvas. All right, have fun, practice, and um, good luck with this. Bye-bye.